welcome. The message today is from Matthew 25 and it talks of our preparation and are we ready for the bridegroom. Matthew 25 At that time the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom! Come out to meet him! Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But when they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I don't know you, therefore keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. This speaks very clearly to us today of our preparation and readiness for the return of Christ. We read in Exodus 32, When the people were restless, Moses had gone up the mountain. He was receiving the Ten Commandments. But they were restless. He had gone for a long, long time. And they really weren't sure whether he was coming back or not. And so they um, encouraged Aaron to gather up all the jewellery and make a golden calf for them to worship. Because it would appear that not only Moses, but God also had abandoned them. That speaks of us today. So many in the community feel that God has abandoned them, which is not true. His word says that I go and prepare a place for you. And if I prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to where I am. And this is the truth of the gospel. We wait with anticipation. As we have read in Matthew 25, We wait with anticipation. We don't get sidetracked into the things of this world. You know, when I was a child, I remember playing that game of hide and seek. Where myself or a brother and a sister would go away and hide. And the person that was going to do the seeking would start counting. We used to just do it from 20 And then when they got down to five, four, three, two, one, they would shout, coming, ready or not. And of course, if you weren't ready, you were out of the game very quickly. Today, Jesus is still saying to us, coming, ready or not. So as we look at Matthew 25, we see that some were not ready. They had gone about uh, just living life to the max, ignoring what was before them, and that was the return of the bridegroom. They knew that he was going to return at some stage. At least they had been told so. But the wise ones prepared themselves. Too often we've seen in the past where people have put a time or a date. There are many, aren't there, who have sold up all that they have and sit on a hillside waiting for the Lord to return. His word says for us to be ready for him. But in the same way when I'm driving a motor vehicle, I'm aware that I may need to take action for something that's happening around me. I'm not constantly jumping on the brakes or correcting the steering. We're still having conversation. We're concentrating on what's before us, but we also continue on with life. So my encouragement 
is for you to read Matthew 25 with the understanding that this is speaking to us today. That we need to be ready. We need to have our hearts right with God and through that with each other. The word says that we are to go about the Father's business, sharing the gospel, sharing the good news, encouraging others and reminding them that Jesus is coming back. God is trying to get our attention today. Are you ready for his return? I pray that you are. And when he does return, there will be much joy and celebration as we welcome the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Saviour of us all, back into our midst. May God bless you and keep you, and may his favour be upon you and your household this day and forever. Amen.